Hey guys, this is Mark Shaw's in the Pattern Trader. I just got a great uh, testimonial on our review website from Will. Uh, I'm just gonna give a shout out to Will and read uh, what he had to say. Uh, so Will says, anyone looking for 100% of genuine information and first class training on a webinar every week, then they should subscribe to the Elite Program. Uh, this is one of our Pattern Trader programs uh, that Will is a subscriber to. Uh, Will goes on to say, nothing is guaranteed in life, but this investment does not disappoint. Please don't look for instant results as depending on market conditions, it takes time to master the techniques. However, it does happen and it will happen. This is not a daily trading or get rich quick scheme. This is a professional approach and a genuine approach to educate you for life. You will never look back if you follow Mark's instructions. So Will, uh, that was a fantastic uh, review and, uh, you know, thank you for, for that and thank you for your commitment to uh, long-term results. So I think one of the things that, uh, you know, uh, always does uh, investors in ultimately, you know, you can plot along, do the right thing, but ultimately, uh, you know, something happens and uh, our emotions get the better of us. And, uh, you know, what I'm really talking about and what I, I want to kind of uh, relegate my uh, comments to is uh, the gold market. So we've had a tremendous run up in gold uh, in the last several months during the pandemic, uh, during the uh, central bank uh, crashing interest rates to zero. And gold has become a, uh, a tremendous story. You know, investors love stories. They love details. They love to you know, kind of, you know, get caught up in the uh, the things. And this is, can really get the better of you. Um, and this is why I advocate, you know, don't look at the stories, don't look at news, uh, don't look at statistics. I only look at price uh, and price action and patterns. And for, you know, several weeks, I've been alerting our members not to chase this gold rally, uh, that I saw several things that alerted me that, uh, you know, I think gold had uh, topped out, it looked overbought, and that the next big move was going to be lower. Um, now, this is again a backdrop of all of these stories uh, that people have been rushing into gold uh, for. And it becomes a kind of a, a FOMO situation. Uh, FOMO is a shorthand slogan for fear of missing out. So you see some, something going on, everybody's piling in. You read how JP Morgan is filling up their coffers with gold, how uh, uh, Warren Buffett just bought into Barrick Gold. Uh, and so you see all these sophisticated people, you see gold going, and now you say, I just got to get on board. Well, I've been actually saying the opposite uh, to our members. And uh, yesterday we had some comments out of the Federal Reserve. I don't really pay attention to these things. Uh, but gold crashed. Gold, uh, you know, crashed from uh, $1,972 last night, where it's trading currently around uh, $1,935. And I think it's going to go lower. I think it could go to 1850 or 1800 or even 1750 uh, based on price action that I'm seeing in the market right now. So in his comments yesterday, the Federal Reserve, uh, Powell said that, uh, you know, that they're going to really um, uh, let inflation run wild. Uh, and of course, this is great for gold bugs. This is exactly what supports the gold story. Um, but, you know, really, you know, what his remarks were saying is that we're going to keep interest rates low for three, four years, and that even if, uh, you know, inflation gets above the 2% target, we're going to kind of let it go. And again, sounds like a great story, a great backdrop for gold. Uh, the thing is, is that this is what's been happening in Japan for 30 years. They've been flooding the market, trying to get inflation going. And uh, in fact, they've got a deflationary environment. So um, you really got to separate the price action uh, from the story. So in a minute, I'm just going to go to the real-time charts. I'm going to show you what I've been looking at, why I've been cautioning our members to, you know, not chase this rally and also to get on the other side and get short. Uh, so I'm going to go to the real-time charts now and show you what uh, I'm looking at just very objectively separated from the emotions. So in this chart, I'm looking at the real-time weekly chart of XAUUSD, which is the ticker symbol for spot gold. So that means that each one of these price bars represents one week in time. And you can see several weeks ago, we made an all time high just above the 2050 level uh, in spot gold. Uh, but you can see that in all the subsequent weeks that this thing has failed to go higher. 
Uh, so that in and of itself uh, does not really mean anything. This could just be a consolidation. This could be just a preview of coming attractions before we launch out of here. Uh, but uh, again, I think that the next move is going to be lower. Now, uh, within uh, this little uh, price accumulation, we see uh, what we call a symmetrical triangle. We see a pretty even looking flag. Now, again, a symmetrical triangle is a neutral uh, pattern. It could fly out of here to the upside or uh, we could spin to the downside. And again, for several reasons, uh, my suspicions are is that the next big move in gold is going to be lower. Now, in addition to the symmetrical triangle, the failure to make new highs over the last six or seven weeks is that we see the uh, volatility expansion. And what I mean by volatility expansion, you can see how controlled and orderly these price bars are. These are the weekly ranges. You can see how small those ranges are. Uh, and then uh, just before the pandemic, you can see the explosion in volatility or the weekly trading range. So we went from this very orderly, very small weekly trading range uh, to magnitudes of where gold was going up $100 uh, or more a week. And you can see the expansion in these three weeks. And typically, when I see this kind of expansion in volatility, that uh, is usually the time when I turn over my positions to the other guy. Now, I might be wrong. Uh, this could be a consolidation, and we could see this thing fly higher. Uh, but I think the uh, combination of the volatility, uh, the symmetrical triangle, and then the reversals within the triangle. What I mean by the reversals, you can see that in this particular week, we made a new high. By the end of the week, we close on the low. Again, in this week, we made a new high, close on the low. And uh, while uh, we're not entirely uh, done for this week, you can see we made a new high and we're closing on the lower end of the range. So I look at also the price bars, the price action within the pattern that gives me the hint as to where the next direction is. And again, I think that we're going to explode uh, back to this breakout area around the 1750 area. Uh, and to my mind, uh, that's a logical place uh, for uh, gold to retreat to. Now you can see that also I'm looking at another longer term pattern. This is called an ascending broadening pattern. And you can see that we just snuck a little bit outside of the top of this ascending triangle. And now we've snuck, snuck back in. So this could represent a huge what I call bull trap uh, where you know anybody who is chasing this fear of missing out, this emotional charge in gold, uh, got in at the high. And now you can see uh, you know if they don't get out very quickly, uh, you could you know, get a huge crash within this ascending broadening triangle. Uh, so this is my uh, take on gold, and we'll have to see how prices play out, but I think that the next big move is going to be lower. So I hope you got a ton of input and value uh, from this video. I wish you a healthy and prosperous trading week, and I'll see you next time.